Ja sve ja volim. Full of reference is really inspiring lecture. It, it struck me uh, your continued reference to Simon Don. I'm working also on these lines now, and this idea that Simon Don has that the, the present uh, is the result of an impact of the future in the present. Yes, uh -huh. and, uh, which I think is also from Bergson too. Yeah, uh -huh. your lecture just uh, inspired me to better understand this this kind of ideas. Well, I think Simon Don is becoming a yeah. bit of a, a flavor uh, flavor of the month uh, philosopher. I mean, at the uh, Sense Lab, we've been working uh, with Simon Don for, I guess maybe uh, ten years. Eh? <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, for, it seems to be forever. But yeah. He's also now translated yeah. translate into many languages. Yes. Uh, I was last year in Argentina. There's a huge uh, following translating in. Simon Don into mm -hmm. Spanish. So there, there's, there will be a big, big wave, and for sure. I mentioned yeah. very briefly in my welcome session. Yes. So, but if there is a question, <laughs> of course. Yes. So, just about the two future orientation and uh, innovation. Do we innovate the past as much as we innovate the present? So uh, just the question about innovation and its timeliness. Ask her. Oh, Ask her. <laughs> That's yeah, let her. Let her do the, all the hard work now. <laughs> Yes, but uh, the point that these authors, they think that time in a coexistent uh, way. So when you think time, the present, the past, and the future, they are together. So for sure, if you think innovation, if you think Bergson, it is uh, just a kind of actualization of the virtual. So always the past, it is in the innovation. You can take in innovation without the past. Because they are always together, the past, the present, and the, and the future. That's, and that's, and that's, the, uh, that's the aspect of repetition that, uh, that I think you're referring to, right. is that the, the, the past is always recognized as becoming into the future, but it's also, it is also being pulled forward, which is, I guess, a, a different way of uh, thinking uh, temporality. Right. Uh, one of the things about uh, what you were saying, Paolo, is that uh, mm. a lot of Anglophones don't realize that uh, there's a lot of really good work that's being done in the Latin <laughs> countries Absolutely. and in the uh, South, uh, South American countries particular. Um, like for example, Simondon was I think uh, translated into Spanish and to Portuguese uh, before it ever was translated in, uh, in English. Or German. Or, or, or German. So it's, it's like there's a, a lot of progressive philosophical thought that's happening, uh, happening in Latin America both in terms of uh, thought on, on Simon Don, but on Deleuze, uh, incredible amounts of work being done on Foucault, on Guattari, that it's like, for, you know, to speak Guattari over there is like mainstream. It's like, and you know, where people in, you know, I guess in Canada, where I've, you know, did part of my graduate studies, or uh, in the States, where Guattari is like, uh, you know, the man from the moon. It's like, you know, like people are just talking, it's part of general practice to be, to be speaking Guattari and Deleuze and, uh, it's really, it's a really interesting uh, world that way. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to make a question. It's kind of a problem that I'm having with the word hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. Huh? yeah so, sorry. I, yeah. I understood very well how you work with them, and I appreciate the, it was very, there was a lot of space to move through the principles that you used. Um, but I, I have this struggle because somehow I think hybrid makes this kind of, at least for me, uh, play where things can align. But at the same time, there's somehow a little bit of homogenization there. So I prefer to use it uh, like a differential um, or disjunctive synthesis. Like those concepts work better for me. It's just because uh, there was a lot of talk of a hybrid culture in Mexico, so oh, okay. mm -hmm. there was a lot of like, oh, you're Mexican, so the new way of defining or talking about Mexicanity was about like hybridization, so I think this is how hybridization, but I never really fully embraced with that concept, and mostly because it kind of, uh, I don't know, it erases a little bit of the difference, and I really like, uh, for example, the Mexican term of mutual inclusion, where he says like, together, yeah. but Yes, actually use it more because you have a, a bigger reference in art and technology. And in this field, you use a lot of hybrid. 
So I think it's more to, to be close the philosophical and the media art fields and put them in dialogue. But if you, you wrote more just in a philosophical way, I think you shouldn't use a hybrid too much. It's more, it's a sense. Yeah, but I like, uh, you know, I like Brian's, uh, Brian's idea. I think it, you know, it also works really well with, um, uh, you know, with Whitehead. And, uh, you know, the whole question ties into the multiplicity really, you know, really well. It's sort of, and that, and I guess it all depends on how you see the, you know, the movement, you know, the, the advance. And regarding Whitehead, are the focus of the concept of country discrimination? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. I guess for you know for Simon Don. Yeah, I mean Jean Luc Nazi mm -hmm. sort of uh, addresses that, and Simon Don addresses that as well, and uh, you know, and then, uh, uh, to his process of individuation, comparing that to uh, to the visualization, for example. You know, and sort of like. Uh, it's just yeah. And then we still have four mm -hmm. minutes. Oh, well, Jesus, Jesus is the four is longest minutes. Oh, you were really life. on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are the four li longest minutes in my yes. life. <laughs> Otherwise, we can just continue to the topic. There is one question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask, as part from your suggestion, that I really like uh, the way you draw the perfection of the analytical system in the same work that he's and the critique. So I would like to ask, uh, do you think the concept of relation can be um, relevant? So I just I talk more about uh, in Simon Don, yeah, that it's the, the case, yeah. The way you see it? Yeah. Actually, this reference of perception, it's really based on Masuni too, yeah? mm -hmm. because he, he talks a lot. Uh, because at this idea of image in the Les in Simon Don, it's to think image like a process, and uh, in a process that it's mainly in embodied process, it's a body because usually you think of image in a mind, uh, with a mind reference, and they think uh, they makes us to think the image like a body process, like uh, into the experience, and so the image itself you can think of the image without the four phases, and the image it is always what it is between we and the world. And so uh, it, it is built by uh, the structure that the subject has and uh, what it is in the world. So it doesn't exist a priori. And in this sense, uh, Simon Don, uh, I think he does quite didactically, and I like this way. Uh, this phase is just, uh, we can't uh, actually uh, recognize the face, now I am in the motor or in the perception or is, you know, whatever. <clears throat> and so they are always in the transductive process, changing one phase to another. And uh, in this sense, uh, uh, you need our structure, uh, our matricity, it depends of, of our biological structure to realize some kinds of image or not, or not others. And the perception, it is uh, what uh, makes us to, to realize the milieu. Because actually, in the first phase, we don't realize very much the milieu. It's more about your uh, biological structure. We, res we res respond more. And in the perception, we have a more uh, action and reaction relation. That it's more also uh, what the Lisa says in Cinema One. Uh, and, uh, and so in this relation, uh, you realize the milieu and the signs of the milieu. And you make uh, <clears throat> the, the perception of the objects. So it is in this perception image 
that you realize the objects, you realize the milieu, you realize the signs of the milieu, and the <clears throat> and so it's what's between you and the world, you know. And after you have <laughs> what Eric said, the mental images, that's more symbolical. When you uh, when you don't need more the object itself, because if you take the object, you have the mental image, but the, so it's it's uh, in a symbolic level, and it's a collective level. It's not an individual level, and uh, and with this symbolical and collective level, you are able to uh, create the objects. And for then, more the objects, uh, it is concretized, 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 concretized. Uh, more interesting, it is the invention, yeah. more invention it is itself. You know. I don't know if you answered it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. This is the answer to Coco's question. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.